everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is about the fourth time I've attempted to do this video. Um, this schooler box, this is April schooler box, arrived yesterday. Um, I didn't have a chance to um, unbox it yesterday as, oh, I had loads of things going on. But um, the main thing was we went um, to a nearby breeder to um, collect a budgie friend for our um, budgie that we inherited last year if you remember last year my friend's mum died and um, they'd got a budgie that they didn't know what to do with and we said we would have him and rehome him and um, it's been lovely but he we feel he needs a friend he needs a budgie companion um, and obviously with lockdown and everything it's been really hard to get out and, um, and get one so uh, anyway I managed to get in contact with a, a breeder and yesterday we went um, it's only 20 minutes away I went and picked up a, a new budgie and um, but he's in quarantine at the moment so we have to keep them very very separate um, for 30 days to make sure that he doesn't introduce anything to Sonny anyway the new one's called Pippin I brought him in here I thought he could sit in here while I did my video every time I talk he just talks over the top of me he's very very vocal he's having a um having a oh, I was gonna say a squawk that's not the right sort he's having a having a chat to himself shall we say in the kitchen at the moment so um, if you can hear him apologies but um, looking forward to putting them both together anyway anyway so my school box arrived yesterday didn't get a chance to unbox it let's have a look today and see what we've got Ooh. Oh, it feels like this is already open at the back here what's going on there Oh, it's obviously got torn in the post by the looks of it. Well, I might as well just break in. So, what have we got? For a start, we seem to have some Dela Rowney Aquafine Watercolour. We've got Ultramarine Blue. Uh, what's that? Alizarin Crimson Hue. Raw Sienna. Hooker's Green Dark and Lemon Yellow. Those are all the Aquafine and so is this one actually. It's just Chinese White. Okay, so we've got six little tubes of De La Rowney watercolour. Um, we've got China Graph, it says. For films, plastics, china and glass looks like a white and a black pencil for those that sounds interesting what we're we doing with that um a derwent it looks like a water brush it looks i'm not seeing one quite like this i'm not sure what this bit here i guess that's just to get the water to flow maybe it's got quite a large barrel anyway interesting water brush Sweet. Rhubarb crumble. Swizzlers. Great British puds. Yes. Not sure about that. Let's have a look at our um, a sticker. I must find something to do with all the stickers. Might decorate the folder actually, but um, that's the sticker. Let's have a quick look on here. So it says, Scroller Box April. This month's box is all about working with layers to create palpable textures. Experiment with building up different intensities with the water to paint ratio with your colours. How do they lay on top of each other? How does the flatter matte finish from mixing in the, hot, in the white look? Use the China graph to form subtle patterns markings shading and highlights layer up and see where it takes you try these things out to see how they work in creating your tactile textures so we've got the water tube watercolor tubes a push button water brush um a large water barrel and has a push button for easy to control water release okay well that's what that was then the china graph pencils will work on virtually any surface including china plastic acetate film brick wood and glass it can be sharpened with a normal pencil sharpener 
Um, by combining specially selected pigments and waxes, they are resistant to water, but you can remove them from non-porous surfaces with a dry cloth or tissue. And I've got a watercolour pad, apparently, and the challenge is called Birds of a Feather. All right, well, let's have a look and see and see what the featured artist has uh, popped the box out the, out the way for a minute. Right, there's the featured artist work. That looks kind of interesting. Flamingo. Camilla Gardner. This one's interesting. Let's have a look at the scroll zine and see what else. That just obviously explains all the things I've just said we've got in the box. Um, this pencil, it says, the waxy core of these pencils is extremely water resistant. Use it with the knowledge that watercolours will not affect it. So that could be quite useful. There's the featured artist. Oh, I like that one a lot. That's a very nice um, artwork. And that one. And that one, actually. Yes, very nice. Well, I should read about, about her and see what she's got for inspiration there. And uh, have a quick read of those. Oh, those are the scrawler um, challenges from before. Brilliant. Lovely. Right, so we've got some watercolor, A5 watercolour paper, 300 GSM cold pressed eight sheets. Wow. Well, I don't think I'm going to do... Um, Am I going to do a product test? I mean, they're watercolours, you know. We all know what a watercolour looks like. I'm slightly interested to see what the pencil... Um, how the pencil works with it. We could have a quick go with that, couldn't we? Just giving it a quick sharpen. Although we might be here a little while while we do this. Yeah, so our new budgie is called Pippin. Well, we've called him Pip, but he's um, he's a little bit. It's, it's very different to our other one. It's got for start. It's got a huge amount of personality, and is um, oops, that's not good. He's quite keen on um, interacting, and he's happy to sit on your finger, and um, he seems quite a happy little thing. So. Um, I don't think he likes being in his cage. I think he'd like to come out and we'll get him out later because I think he'll be easy enough to get back in. I think he wants to, um, he's quite desperate to, to meet Sonny. But, well, I'm not too chuffed with the pencil so far. I've sharpened it twice and the lead just drops out. So I might have to use something other than a pencil sharpener. Um, yeah, that's not the, not the greatest start. Um, I'll be back if I can get that sorted. Well, I had a, another go at sharpening this and even when it's quite well supported with the wood, it's got a wobbly end there. So I tried the other end, it seems a bit better. But I don't do terribly well with pencils from Scrawler Box. I think going in the post, um, they're not terribly well protected and they do, the leads often break. That um, expensive pencil I forgot what it called, the X-Wing or whatever it was. That was completely, the lead was completely broken all the way through. So, um, yeah, not, not great. But um, anyway, I'm just going to not really do anything, she says. It is a waxy feel. I've put a tiny amount of the green paint down here and I've filled my water brush with water. Um, let me just let's give it a squeeze and see what happens because... It's also quite dry, obviously, at the moment. Just seeing if I can get some water to flow through it. And it's taking its time. I mean, I could dip it in some water. I don't really want to do that. I've given it a squeeze, but... Come on, come on. I wonder how much you're supposed to squeeze it. Well, 
Well, it is as dry as a bone at the moment. I'm giving it a squeeze. Probably going to have a flood when it... Oh, I can, can I feel a bit of dampness? Yes, I think I can. On the back of my dry old hand, yeah. Come on. Yeah, here we go, here we go, here we go. We've got water now. First of all, let's see what happens. Right, you can put water straight over that pencil and that is not shifting anywhere. So that's pretty good. Um, and I've got here just a little of the, the green paint. So I just thought I'd see how that goes down. Nice colour. I'm not going to... Um, swatch them all I don't think because it seems a bit of, well I could do it seems, I can say it seems a bit of a waste but um, I suppose we won't know what we're dealing with if we don't look at them so so anyway that's the hooker green let me see if I can um, Off. Maybe I can just get into them from there. Oh gosh, that one's shot out, so I'll have that out. Not what I was envisioning. Alright, I'm just going to take a little from the end to see what we've got here. This is the red. That's a nice colour red, isn't it? Sort of a, it's like a, a, a very pinky raspberry. But very pleased with that. I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet, obviously, so I'll give that some thought before I come back. We've done the yellow. We've got the... I'll check that I haven't got any red on the end of my brush, which I don't seem to have. So we'll take a little of the brown. This is the um, raw sienna. A little bit more. They go on very well, and I quite like in the brush as well. So that's a good, a good sign. And we've got ultramarine blue, and I've got ah, there we go. Well, that's going straight back on. Bear with me, because that has leaked everywhere. Under a bit of pressure, I think, and in that tube. Right. Right, we'd better go for the yellow one then, I think, first. Beautiful colour. Hmm. I like that one a lot, nice and bright. Should be able to mix a few things with those as well, since we've got the primaries. And I've got loads of this blue now. Again, a beautiful, a beautiful blue. So should be able to do something. What was it again? It said something about birds of a feather. So I'm guessing they're wanting bird type artwork this uh, this time well we'll have to have a think about that anyway those are the products quite like those i wonder if this is not terribly dry but um maybe i'll, I'll just have another go i'll have go at sharpening the white pencil see if we have any joy with that when it said that the pencils were um you know could be used on like non-porous services like glass and i thought we were going to get some different type of um paper to work with like some acetate or something like that that could have been quite interesting i'm thinking that's the same i don't know maybe we're all right with that can we just i'm not sure if that's because that's not quite dry maybe that's drier there I'm not sure we're going to get a lot out of that can you see anything i mean i can do oh. again with the um, p 
pencil. No, it's not having it. Look. Try the other end. Very not happy with pencils from Scrawler. I, I find them, I don't know if it's just the way they travel in the post box or what have you, but they are, um, they should be, perhaps be protected with bubble wrap or something because these are just, no, that's going to drop out that end as well. I'm going to, I'm going to say pencils are not great here. But I'm going to have a go with the pens, uh, with the paints, and with the lovely water brush. That seems quite a nice, um, a nice touch. And have a practice, have a practice first, because it does say about layers. So, um, and I'm guessing that's what's happened here. Where they've started with quite a lot of, like the pale, very very pale, and just added darker and darker on top. So, perhaps we'll have a go at that. See what I can do bird wise. Um, so yes, I don't know if you can hear my bird in the background, but um, <coughs> he's sounding a bit angry. So I think I'm going to go and see what he's up to. Um, thanks for watching. Um, I hope if you've got a scroller box, you had better luck with the pencils than me. And um, I'll, I'll perhaps have a tack um, mine with a um, what do you call it? a pen knife. That sometimes is better than a pencil sharpener. But that pencil sharpener is pretty good, and I use it for my. Um, Prismacolors, I don't have a problem at all, and they're waxy. So, at the moment, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to say it's more the pencil than the pencil sharpener, but uh, I'll give it a go with something else and see what I can come up with. Okay, folks, thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, if you're interested in scroller, that's what's in the April scroller box. Okay, have a lovely day. Speak to you again soon. Bye for now.